Hello, Mac the Irish Football Fan TV. We're here in Dublin. Kevin, you're over as a guest for the Republic of Ireland men's team. Um, so talk to me, kind of, we're coming into uh, a double header. Tonight it's Finland, Saturday, uh, Sunday it's England. How are you feeling about this upcoming window? Uh, it was my first visit to the Aviva, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've been told how good the atmosphere is. Um, obviously, results haven't gone as we wanted, but we have beaten Finland, so it's a massive game for us tonight. I think it's it's small steps at the moment, so if we can put another win on the board, which I'm sure we're capable of, then that'll give the players and the staff you know confidence going into the England game. Yeah, no, we, we, we've got the England game on Sunday. You're a man who knows a thing or two about playing them and also scoring against them. So just f from your own opinion, like we obviously had them here a few months back uh, and they beat us, but there's, they're a bit of a weakened team. They're still a good team, but they're still a bit, bit of a weakened team. What would be your advice to maybe some Irish players going into that game, um, you know? considering you've, you've been there and done it. Yeah, I mean, uh, winning games give, breeds confidence. So if, if we did get a good result, then we can go to uh, against England with fuller confidence. Um, tough, tough call, but on the day, uh, we've got the players certainly who can rise to the occasion. And these the games, uh, uh, I thought, what they need. So, um, but it's one step at a time. I think the game tonight is vital. Uh, we, we, you know, we want to beat them. We want to finish, you know, in the group. And um, I'm sure we can do that. Yeah, and just like talk me through your memories of playing England. Obviously, you know you scored the Ireland's first ever goal in the World Cup of Italy. You know, but just your your memories. You might have other memories as well as that goal, but just in your own terms. Yeah, it was. Um, we played them in qualifiers before that, and it's like a, a local derby. You're playing against teammates. So I was playing against Trevor Stephen and Gary Stephen. Uh, all the players on both teams knew each other inside out, knew what they were capable of. So it was always going to be uh, a. You know, tough, tough affair. Uh, so obviously, scoring Ireland's first goal in in the World Cup, um, you've got to take your chance when it comes along. Uh, I intercepted a pass from Steve McMahon and uh, took a f good first touch. And as soon as it left my boot, I knew it was in uh, Peter Shilton's bottom corner. So fantastic memories. Uh, great for me to have that. Something I'll always treasure. Um, but it's, it's again, it's 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 on the day. I mean, you know, they they're not. They, they played. They had a good start against us at Lansdowne and got the two goals. Uh, so it was always going to be an uphill fight. But um, you know, we, we we've got to get good p performance in tonight um, and take the confidence, hopefully, of a win uh, into the, into the game on Sunday. Yeah, you've played in arguably the best Irish team, definitely one of them. Um, you know, looking at this team, I know. Look, um, we spoke off air earlier just about some of the players. They're not playing Premier League football. They're, a lot of them, well, if they are, they're playing like in kind of relegation sides that are fighting relegation or just coming up, um, or in the Championship. But f like, I don't know if you've ever played in kind of like an underdog side. You've you've played in pretty pretty good sides that you're probably always expected to win. But could you give this new kind of team any sort of advice? Um, you know, just because you, you've been a winner in your career and you've won games at the highest level, um, I think you you, you serve your apprenticeship. Uh, I made my debut for the, the first the full team, um, and things weren't great to start with. We weren't getting good results. I remember we went to Denmark one night. They had a great side, Preben Alka, uh, Olsen, and we were five nil down after thirty minutes. Um, so you sort of dig in, you toughen up, and you you know. Um, Getting Jack in as manager, I think, was the massive key. And also that the players available to Jack were players playing in the best teams in uh, the first division, playing in big European nights, uh, so had big game temperaments. So we didn't fear anybody. You know, we looked at each other. Um, we knew that if we performed, um, we had the quality to win games, so we didn't fear anybody. And obviously qualifying for the 88 Euros, uh, getting close six minutes from uh, knocking Holland out and getting through to the semi-final. So that gave us massive confidence. And then again, going on to qualify for, for Italia uh, was brilliant. Uh, fantastic competition, getting to the quarterfinals, you know, giving uh, Italy a run for their money. Um, but it's, it's, as you said before, unfortunately, we haven't got the players playing at the at the top level and or enough for the players. So it's, it's going to be slow steps. Uh, but certainly tonight's a, a, a night we can go into it. We've already beaten them, as I said. So, sure, you know, hopefully we can put in a good performance. For, I think there'll be about 50,000 here tonight. So the supporters need a good performance. And then, as I say, once that game's finished, then they can concentrate on England. Yeah, 100%. Um, I suppose... Another thing I wanted to ask you about, obviously the last time we were talking to each other, you were managing uh, Waterford. Uh, the League of Ireland seen a big upturn in terms of views, in terms of uh, presence and stuff like that. Damien Duff, a man who you'd know from your wide position uh, quite well. Uh, but um, 
you know, the fact that he's come into the league now, he's won the league with Shelburne, and, you know, uh, like, what, what are your thoughts on kind of the League of Ireland and how much it's grown since you've, I suppose, left? Yeah, no, um, fantastic achievement from uh, Damien. I coached him as a, a young lad when he was at Blackburn. I did the under 18s there, and he was he was a fantastic player then. Uh, so determined, so professional, and got the best out of what natural ability he's got and he's had a, a fantastic career now he's got into management and to to win the league over here is, is a great achievement as i say and i'm sure it'll be onwards and upwards for, for damien i suppose a lot of uh, league of ireland fans would be wondering do you still keep a, a strong eye on things i know you do with the premier league yeah i still watch the games and uh, obviously watch the that game for that uh, the, the one the league game in yes yeah so um you know it was right till the end but that's what what uh, when you go in for titles you know, you go right to the wire, and that's what they did, and got goal late on, and fully deserved to, to win the league. Yeah, I suppose. Do you feel that if it was another manager who'd done what Damien Duff done, um, there maybe wouldn't have been as much eyes? Just the fact um, that he's an Irish legend. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, um, it's, a, it's, it's a great achievement whoever wins the, the league in any competition. Um, so, yeah, obviously, Damien's got a high profile, having played, had a great career, and uh, he's now taking his knowledge from that into, into management, and, you know, he's making a big success of it. Absolutely. Well, I know you're over here. You're over here to do a bit of a Q&A tonight. Um, largely, you'll be talking, I'm sure, about that team in the, in the 90s. But just one final thing, just because we are coming up to Ireland and England, just kind of your fondest memories of Jack. Um, it just Jack was um, straightforward. Um, he told you as it was. The players knew exactly where they stood. Um, if you didn't uh, go with his, you know what he wanted you to do, he'd get somebody else in because we had, we had a good strength and depth with the squad. Uh, players injured, players out, so uh, good players were able to come in and keep the striders the side strong. So um, unfortunately, the squad we've got at the moment doesn't allow that. But Jack. Uh, managed the players brilliantly. Everybody wanted to play for him and the country, and it was uh, a privilege to be part of that uh, era. Absolutely. Well, listen, Kevin, you enjoy yourself tonight. Thanks so much for your time. It's always a pleasure to catch up and see you.